What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a YouTube keyword research tutorial to show you how I come up with keywords and topics for my own YouTube channel. So this is great for anybody who has just started a new YouTube channel or somebody who just needs more content ideas. So five different things that I use, keywords everywhere, keyword it and keyword tool.io are all free keyword research tools. Now you can also use the Google Keyword Planner, but I'm not going to be going through that in this video. I'm just going to be focused on these three keyword research tools and then also how to use the YouTube search results and then how to research using popularity, both popular topics and then maybe some popular things within that would fit into your YouTube channel. So for this example, I'm going to be pretending like I'm creating three fake YouTube channels one about WordPress tutorials, one about horror movies, and one about just Nintendo Switch in general. So let's get started with Keywords Everywhere. This is my favorite keyword research tool outside of the Google Keyword Planner. So with Keywords Everywhere, if you go to keywordseverywhere.com, you can install their Chrome extension or their Firefox extension. And just using the free version, if I go to Google, and let's just say I search WordPress in Google, we scroll down here and we look on the right hand side, they're gonna come up with a huge list of long tail keywords here. So 20 of the most popular long tail keywords related to WordPress. And just looking at these long tail keywords, I can come up with at least 10 different video ideas. So that's where I like to start is with keywords everywhere. The other great thing about this is you can go to YouTube and just enter a search term here, WordPress. If for example, for me, I could do something like Google ads or Facebook ads or something like that. And then over on the right hand side, you can see find YouTube keywords for WordPress. And if you click that, it's gonna open up a huge list of YouTube keywords related to WordPress. And the only thing, you're not gonna get search volume here, but what I found is they generally put these keywords in order of how popular they are. So you can see here, WordPress tutorial for beginners, WordPress tutorial. Obviously I would look at those as the same exact keyword or the same exact topic but how to create a WordPress website, full WordPress course, WordPress e-commerce websites, WordPress Elementor, WordPress SEO, theme development. So there's a ton of different keywords here that you can use that will help you get started with creating different topics for your YouTube channel. So coming back over here, just clicking on this link right here on the right hand side of YouTube, once you install the Keywords Everywhere extension, and then also when you do a search in Google, you can find a ton of different long tail keyword ideas. So this is gonna help you get started by coming up with a ton of different topics. Now the next tool that I'm gonna be going over is Keyword It. So this tool actually uses Reddit to come up with some different ideas for you. So let's use our horror movies example. So if we come over here and looking at horror movies, let's just say, I don't know where to start, but if I come over to the Reddit keyword research tool, and I'll put this link in the video description, it's highervisibility.com. And what you wanna do right here is search for a subreddit that would most match your YouTube channel. So in this case, they have a specific horror, you know, this is just horror movies and horror TV shows. So if we click on get keywords, what the Reddit keyword research tool is going to do is it's going to look through the horror subreddit on reddit and it's going to pull out a bunch of the top keywords and what's good about this tool is you can come up with a bunch of unique topics so you can see something here sean penn movies so you can see hey what horror movies is sean penn in if there's not a lot then maybe it's not worth making a video for but as we come down here you're going to find a ton of different ideas new alien movie resident evil movie keep coming down and you can just find a ton of different ideas here. So as you go through, you can kind of find, okay, maybe I'll create a video about the best John Carpenter movies. Maybe I'll create a video about the best David Lynch movies and kind of go through all of these different, and these are basically just keywords that you can use as topics for your videos. So it's, there's a ton here, you know, as you keep scrolling down, I wouldn't focus too much on the search volume over here because what you're really trying to do is just come up with video ideas for your channel and even just looking you know, right here, top horror films, and we start coming down horror comedy movies, sci-fi movies, so maybe say the best horror sci-fi movies, the Silent Hill series, Bruce Campbell. So you're coming up with a lot of these different topics. And as you build out your YouTube channel and you're creating more and more videos, 
it really helps to have all of these different topics. So that's number two is gonna be keyword it. So if we come back over here, number two for keyword it. So that's gonna give you a ton of different ideas. And if we do a quick search for Nintendo Switch as well, so we'll come to the top, okay, and we scroll down, you can see there's a ton of just unique keywords and unique topics that will really help you create a bunch of new videos. And it's not just your standard, okay, here's the most popular keywords. It's basically, hey, here are a bunch of keywords that appear a lot within this subreddit. So it's showing that people who are talking about these different you know, topics related to your YouTube channel, the things they are most interested in. So top two, keywords everywhere, keyworded. I like both of these and I use them pretty frequently. Uh, the next one is gonna be keywordtool.io. So if we come back over and we open up keywordtool.io, they actually have specific search engines for YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay. So you can look up keyword research for all these different search engines. So if we click on YouTube here, and let's just say we're gonna use our WordPress example again. So we'll say WordPress and we're gonna search. Okay, so at the very top, you can see 402 unique keywords. You can see a lot of these keywords are the same ones that we saw with the Keywords Everywhere tool. But what I really like about using keywordtool.io is they start giving you the top keywords and they do them alphabetical. So you're gonna see right here, WordPress app, WordPress API, WordPress advanced tutorial. So these are the top keywords basically from A to Z. So WordPress app, as we keep coming down, WordPress blog, WordPress blog tutorial for beginners. So if you go through and just kind of say, okay, I can do a video about WordPress basics, WordPress backup. So as you're creating your list of keywords, and let's just say I do WordPress basics, WordPress backup, what you can do is take these keywords and say, okay, how to backup your WordPress website. So very simple to go from keyword to content idea by using keywordtool.io. And what I found is the alphabetical keywords they give you. So as you get into C, as you get into D, these different keywords at the very top for each letter are gonna be the most popular. So WordPress contact form, if we come over here and say WordPress contact form, so you could do content idea, best contact form plugin for WordPress. So very simple to go from keyword to content idea. And then all you have to do is focus on creating really great videos and people will continue to come back and watch your content. So if we come back over here, that's the first three. So all completely free keyword research tools. And then number four, using the YouTube search results. So sometimes you might be saying, okay, I don't know what to do with this keyword. Let's just say something like WordPress basics. You're like, I don't know what to do with this keyword. I'm gonna use a different example here, but all you need to do is go to YouTube, search WordPress basics right here, see what comes up. So if I don't know what to create when it comes to videos for the Nintendo Switch, why not look at the most popular videos? So we just search Nintendo Switch, we scroll down. So 25 new Switch games. Nintendo Switch Review, top 10 Nintendo Switch games. So you can already see, okay, maybe I should really focus on creating lists of the top games. So as we keep coming down, where to start? So basically how to use the Nintendo Switch. Right here, you're starting to get some different ideas of, okay, this is what people are actually watching, 2.1 million views. And if you know how to use the Nintendo Switch very well, it should be easy to create a 15, 20, 30 minute video for how to get started with it. And as you keep coming down, you can find even more videos so unboxing pretty simple you purchase a switch you unbox it show everything that's in the box keep coming down an announcement trailer now some of these are from nintendo themselves so it's kind of hard to recreate some of these but even as we keep coming down there's a video down here and you can see kind of how many options you have to create so seven new exciting games coming to nintendo switch in january 2022 so this was created eight days ago. So if you say, okay, at the beginning of every month, I'm gonna go over the 10 top games for this month. At the beginning of the year, you say, here are the best games that you should buy in 2022. Maybe you create a video about, you know, which Nintendo Switch games are coming out. So it gives you a lot of ideas by just simply using the YouTube search results. Now, in addition to using keywords everywhere, so as we come to the top here, you can also click find YouTube keywords for Nintendo Switch, and that's gonna give you a ton more ideas. So coming into number five, researching using popularity. So let's just say, I don't know really where to get started with Nintendo Switch. What you can do is basically go to the game store. You could use Best Buy, you could use the Nintendo game store, you could use GameStop. And if we scroll down here, you can say Nintendo Switch best sellers. So the best sellers are obviously the games that people are gonna be looking up the most videos for. 
So if I have a huge section on my Nintendo Switch channel about Minecraft, maybe I say, okay, let me do Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tricks or different things like that. You can come up with a ton of ideas. And let's just say I'm using Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I purchased that, I'm playing the game. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a video about that. What you can do is just enter that search term right into YouTube. So you can see 8 Deluxe, maybe you wanna enter that. And you could see unboxing, gameplay, two player, so there's not a ton here, but you can see tips and tricks at the bottom. But let's just say we search this again using popularity. So basically using the best sellers for Nintendo Switch and then using the YouTube search results. You can say, okay, what should I kind of create on YouTube so that I can get more views? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Gameplay Walkthrough Part 1. So this is an hour long video of someone playing the game and going over how to play it. So you can see Deluxe Bundle. And what you want to do is try to look at which videos are getting the most views. So 807,000 views for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. It's a 13 minute video. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, all tracks. So full race gameplay. So you can just basically record yourself playing the game. Maybe you come up with, so you can see here, fastest cart and bike. So people are looking for tips and tricks. People are looking for gameplay. People are looking for reviews. Maybe people are looking for unboxing or some different bundles that you can purchase. So just using basically popularity and the search results, we have five to 10 different video ideas that we can create about this game. And then also we can include this game as we put together our list of the top games for 2022 or whatever it is. So the other example for using popularity, so coming back to horror movies, let's just say, I don't know where to get started, what people are gonna look up the most, Go to something like IMDb or something that would match for whatever your YouTube channel is about. And if you just click on the menu here, we go to movies. Let's say browse movies by genre. And we come over here, popular TV show and movie genres. We click on horror. It's going to come up with the most popular movies right now. So you can create videos about upcoming movies. Otherwise, what you can do is say maybe number of votes. So that's the total number of votes that people have actually submitted on IMDb that re represents that people have watched this movie a lot. So look at the movies with the most votes, The Silence of the Lambs, The Shining, so Stranger Things, the TV show, The Walking Dead. These are all different examples of ways to find popular horror movies and TV shows, and then you can create videos about them on your channel. Now the other thing I can do here is US box office, so see which movies made the most at the box office. So that's going to help me say, okay, people have spent a lot of money watching this movie so it the exorcist it chapter two world war z and what you can do is create videos about these movies and also kind of combine the top 10 horror films of the 1990s the top 10 horror films of from 2000 to 2010 so it helps you kind of come up with different lists and then you can also go over you know world war z what what was the movie trying to present so different types of videos like that. If you're someone who loves horror movies, it should be easy to kind of create those types of videos. Obviously, that's not really what I'm doing, so I don't have the best examples for what type of videos people are watching, but just kind of going through some of the different examples with different channels here, WordPress, horror movies, Nintendo Switch, and then coming back over here in different ways to find these keywords and topics. Now, something like keyword it isn't gonna work for every channel. Something like researching using popularity isn't always going to work for every channel. But what you can also do, and this is my last thing, because I use this every now and then as well, is let's just say we're using WordPress. So go right to the WordPress website and click on learn. So what you can look up is basically the types of lessons that people are looking up from WordPress. So they have workshops, they have lessons plans. So let's just say I click on workshops. I'm seeing the exact types of topics that people are looking up. So how to style your site with global styles. You can see all of these are different lesson plans and you can recreate these lesson plans on your own YouTube channel. And you might be able to do it better than the way that WordPress actually presents them here. But you can see all of these right here, how to create a poster page with the WordPress block editor. That's a video that you can create for your own channel. So sometimes going within something like WordPress, and I've done this before, so if we use Google ads, going right to the help center and you can see here, if I click on Explore Features, they have ads, extensions, landing pages, ad groups, keywords, bidding, targeting, measure results, bulk uploads and edits, campaign settings. These can all be separate videos. I can also use these to kind of go over my 
complete Google Ads tutorial. So these are a bunch of different ways to find keywords and topics for your YouTube channel, and it's all completely free. Now you can also use the Google Keyword Planner and kind of come up with a list of keywords that way as well. But usually what I like to do is kind of come up with keywords like this and then come up with a content idea. Because if I say something like YouTube keyword research, for example, so that's a keyword that I came up with, what I can do is something, you know, five ways to do keyword research for your YouTube channel. Okay, and then I create a video like this, I post it to my YouTube channel, and that's how you go from keyword to content idea and how you come up with these different keywords. So if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.